Hello everybody, T1 Glistener Elf here. I am at SCG Atlanta for the Open, the Legacy Open. And I'm trying to rock out. Sorry I didn't get to you before the actual event started. Uh, this is nine rounds and I, this camera dies very quickly so I'm just gonna try to be brief, go through this really, really quickly if I can. Quickly as I can. Anyway, anyway, no distractions. Uh, I am 1-0 right now. <laughs> yeah, so Bug Infect versus Goblins. Uh, he did draw Thalia, both of his uh, game game two and three. Uh, but he didn't draw Pyrokinesis, didn't draw Tarfire. I don't actually know that he had Tarfire. Uh, but if he did, he didn't draw into it. So he, he slowed me down, he didn't stop me, and that's all that it takes. Bug Infect. And he was expecting it, he was expecting Thalia to be a little bit better. Uh, he's used, he, the way he explained it to me, he's used to Tom Ross Infect where you're trying to, uh, you're, you're not as quick, generally speaking. My deck was just, I turn to him, game one, that's it. Uh, although Tom Ross can do that, he runs Invigorate, he runs Berserk, he runs Vines of Vastwood. I am almost positive he doesn't run any of the following. Might of Volcrosa, Groundswell, uh, what was the other one? Actually, no, no, I'm running Gitaxian Pro in the sixth slot. Well, I got there. Uh, also, two of my friends, I don't think they'd mind me mentioning their names. Evan Allen and Bill Mick were names on the screen. Uh, the former running Esper Deathblade, the latter running Burn, they went against Gob uh, Infect too. Ah, it's a thing, right? Although in those cases it was Simic Infect for both of them. Burn lost, Deathblade won. I will see you after the next match. If I find any extremely interesting decks, I will invite them onto the channel to talk about them. Another reason to conserve a bit of battery. I will see you after the next match. Bye bye! <laughs> Hello, everybody. T1 Glistener Elf here. 2 0 by Bug Delver. I don't know if I'm actually looking. I am looking right at you. That's it. All right, my friend. Oh, that was that was brutal. That was brutal. I did really stand a chance. Double wasteland in game two. <sighs> Tell me, it's your, yours is a pretty stock list for Delver, right? For Bug Delver? It's uh, it is pretty stock. I like to keep a lot of four ofs. I run uh, basically four ofs with everything besides Tombstalker and Liliana. All right, and then the main board, your creatures. You've got the four Goys, four Delver. You've got four Death Rite, and any Tombstalkers in main, or were those side that I saw? Those are two Tombstalkers in the main. In the main. All right, that's interesting. What's your name? Side? No, okay. But Liliana, oh jeez. Uh, seeing Inkmoth Nexus come down, I'm like, okay, I don't have to worry about Liliana anymore. Wasteland. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Not much card. I can do. Yeah. All right. So really, you run six lands, really. You've got like the three underground seas, the three tropical islands, and then fetches and wasteland, right? I run one tropical island, two bayous, oh. and four underground seas. That's interesting. Okay. I'm used to seeing like Rogue Delver is the, you've got the tropicals, mm -hmm. and then you've got the three volcanic, and that's it. Well, because we need to run him, makes sense. Tropical island's really bad in that situation. Fair enough, fair enough. All right. Uh, the missus was going to bring a Blood Moon deck, and I told her, you want to run against decks like his. That would yeah. be really nice. That's, that's pretty much the dodge game for that's me all it. day. Oh, uh, she got sick, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, it happens, though. Sorry, you two. You don't get to see her, you know, kicking ass all over the place. Oh, she'd be 2-0, wouldn't she? Uh, we had a crazy... You know, Sam Black's bombardment? Yeah. That with Blood Moon. Oh. Uh, and Pyromancer. Yeah. Just, uh, it, it's interesting. I'm not sure... Whether that's quite good enough, but it's only two. Ascension or the dude? A young Pyromancer. Okay, yeah. Not Pyromancer Ascension, that in, in Legacy. Wow. I want to see that work somehow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, T1 Glistener out. See you after the next match. Bye bye! So I'm here with another T1 Glistener elf. <laughs> uh, do you want your, your name, your username, any of that? Uh, I, I'm Terry Tolson. Terry Tolson. I, I, I don't have a YouTube though, so. All right, and Terry Tolson is running. Mono Green Infect. You have my enduring admiration for this. Uh, there's a little bit of a glare. That's a Plague Mirror. Plague Mirror Ink Moth Nexus. All right, so you see a lot of similarities with mine. Obviously, we've got the Glisten. Well, of course, it's Infect. Uh, Gitaxian Probe. Who needs blue? Pendlehaven. He runs three. I run two, but then again, I have color issues, and he does not. <laughs> not really. We've got uh, Berserk, Invigorate, Vines. Uh, he's running Mutagenic. And Rancor. Now, you told me earlier, the one of Rancor, why do you have the one of Rancor? Rancor is best with Ink Moth. 
Mm -hmm. uh, every turn you can equip a Roncor to an Ink Moth. Ink Moth turns back into a land. Roncor goes back to your hand. That's right. Woo. And just spam it. Spam just, it over and over again. It. So that's every turn you got three. If you draw another pump, you can win. That's it. Because nothing is scarier than flying in front. Now, I see your creatures. You've got Glistener Elf. I'm just going to count the infectors here for now. For now, Glistener Elf. Uh, I'm looking at three Icker Claws, three Blight Mamba, three Necropede, and I'm going to and Plague Stinger. So three of those. Now, if my math is not horrible, that's 16 creatures, and then four Ink Moth Nexi. Um, questions about the and of course, Lana. We'll get to you, you sexy thing. We'll get to you in just a second. <laughs> um, Plague Mirror. Is that a budget noble hierarch, or does having infect actually make it better in your opinion? I don't need it. For, the infect can help if you need aggro. Yeah. I myself use it to save my lands. I use it to tap in an ink moth. Mm hmm. Okay, fair enough. And Lanawar Augur. That if you're running mono green infect, I love that card. It's cheap, it's powerful enough, it gives you trample too, which in mono green, you notice he doesn't have a whole lot of ev evasion. He's got the one of Rancor, and he's got three Lanawar to help get his creatures over, and he's got four Berserk. So he only really has eight sources of trample, and Ink Moth next I have flying. No. He needs something like this, and it does so much work, doesn't it? There are some cases in which Lanawar can help you or screw you, yeah. If you know what's in your hand, go for it. If you don't, you ha it, his, you have to sacrifice him in order to use him. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have a pump in your hand, you're playing with the luck. Mm -hmm. The luck of the draws, it's get favor, unfavor, you never know. I, I personally love him. Mm -hmm. uh, if they shut down your aggro, you can just go in with a pump, pump the auger. All right, now normally we do, uh, say you've got Glistener Elf out. One, four, eight. Pendlehaven makes it ten. If they block with Icker Claw, that makes it twelve and trample. So there we go. If it's not, if it's two toughness or less, there you go. You've got it. Um, I do like the Blight Mamba. Have you run across cases where that like Supreme Verdict and that saved you already? Yes. Uh, some Esper matchup or some silly miracles uh, or something like that. It might. I love it for Jenny. Oh, okay. It gets past GD, it gets past burn. It's... You mean the, the pump your creature part of GT, where they, they block and then they make it bigger yes. and you're just like, nope. That, well, even that is uh, when they use GD, it's, they're trying to kill my aggro, they're trying to keep the infect off the board. Yeah. I just block with Blight Mamba, uh, regenerate, oh uh, no, now kill, kill your Blight Mamba, regenerate. Well, it won't help with the minus one, mi regenerate doesn't help the minus one, minus one part. But uh, if, yeah, if they're pumping instead, that'll definitely get them through. Yeah. I think the possible, the worst possible matchup for any infant yet really is a mirror match. Oh god. Yeah, the mirror is insane. Uh, it's it's who wins, who goes on the play wins pretty much, right? Yeah, who, uh, on infect, whoever has the first play, whoever has the first play wins the round. Alright. Um, Against just about anything else, it's all about luck. It's get trying to. This itself goes off on turn two. All right. Now you have a sideboard, right? I do have a sideboard. All right. Do you mind if we uh, we put that out? I do not. All right. Because I now I know that you're a fast deck, so you can actually outrace combo. I can outrace combo. Uh, but control is usually a bit of an issue, isn't it? A little bit. Control right? can be an issue, but if I get them to waste all their control early on yeah. on all my little shit, they mm -hmm. can't do anything about the off nexus. That's true. If uh, I just throw out creatures and I bluff with swings and they start counting, right. bring out Ink Moth. Ink Moth is them. glorious. They need instant speed and they can't counter it. So Ink Moth gets okay. work done. Now over here on the sideboard. Alright. I, I like run four little four ley lines of the void. Yeah. That helped you in Dread. You just played Dredge, right? I just played Dread. Oh, fuck Dredge. Oh, regular Dredge? Manaless Dredge? It was Manaless. Uh, well, it had two lands per... Uh, only really two. It was running... Oh, split. I'm missing speak a defense. Speak speak uh, defense Grid, right there. Uh, I'm missing another. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, Alright, so okay. I'm gonna... Okay, there it is. All May right. I set them out with, with you? I... Okay, this is my... A two Defense Grid. I know what that's for. Uh, that's for counter, that's for burn, that's for leave me alone. Yeah. Oh, Jund. No, Jund. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
Good thing needle. Now, what do you usually name with that? Wasteland to protect uh, ink moth? I can name Wasteland. Uh, Liliana of the Veil, Jason yeah. the Mind Sculptor, Sneak and Show. Or Sneak and, yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Sneak Attacks. I got gotcha. you. Now, lately, artifacts are getting big. I'm seeing some Crow Song grips, and I love it. I run Abrupt Decay because I'm running black. He's mono green. Crow Song gets work done, too. You know, because Miracles. F Miracles, right? Well, for Miracles, yeah. Uh, I, I only, I really like it. I like it best because of split second. <laughs> oh, fair enough. It is awesome like that. You can't that. counter it. You can't end response. If I want something gone, it's gone. It's done. All right, man. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. You rock. All uh, right. I will see you later, ladies and gentlemen. Take care. Here comes Rep Match 4. Whew. Well, here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Remember when you tried to kill me twice? You actually got there, though. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, ten fins. I'm fast, he's faster. What was that? Turn the first game, Ink Moth. I've got Invigorate, Invigorate, Invigorate on the top. And, yeah, just went off. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I was definitely worried. Luckily, I had to duress in the Cabal. Jeez. Oh, man. So, I got rid of the combo, and then Ten Fins is just... It's a race, and Ten That's Fins right. can be faster. Oh, gosh, yeah. Now, you you did something really interesting, I think, with your sideboard. It transforms into... Sneak and Show. Sneak and Show. Sneak and Show. Oh, good grief. Yep, uh, when you're dealing with a... Playing with a combo deck, obviously, there's going to be weaknesses. With Ten yeah. Fins, it's Graveyard Hate, and everyone just loads up on Graveyard Hate. So I go ahead and remove all the Graveyard uh, play from, from my deck and Sneak and Show you. And all I had was Surgical Extraction, that's it. Which, unless it's Sneak and Rockle, don't quite kill, Surgical on the trigger, absolutely useless card. That's the card I was talking about that kept wanting to like cling to another one the whole time, every time. Oh, okay, every time. The, the Extractions? That's it, the Extractions just want to be a club, and I don't need more than one. Actually, in that match, I didn't really need any. So I, I saw, actually, when you were holding your deck box and putting your cards back in, I mm -hmm. saw a show and tell, and I'm like, okay, show and tell, reanimator? And I see an underground say, reanimator, that's got to be it. No, well, kind of. Yes. Tinfin reanimator, it's kind of. It's it's a reanimator with haste. Right? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. And Children of Corliss 4, what was that? You had the potential to do 34 at the end. To, uh, draw 34. Oh, no, well, not 34. Uh, you, you draw 28. But right. Children would give you 34 life. Right, if I would have uh, brought Children back yeah. again. But uh, luckily, oh, I mean, I had the tendrils and I had the mana, so. That's right. And it don't keep going on. <laughs> Unless you just want to just troll me and be like, hey, guess what I got? <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be right. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, T1 Glistener Alf. Uh, elf out. Yeah. I'll see. T1 Glistener Alf. I need to, like, yeah. Photoshop that. <laughs> I'll see you after the next match. Bye bye. Click. Another loss. Rug Delver. Oh joy. And of all opponents, I got to play against uh, Nick again. Nick as in, I'm sure there are like five million video overlays of matches that we've had together. Uh, usually on Splinter Twin or Kiki Pod, or not Kiki Pod, Kiki, uh, Kiki Twin? Blue or Red Twin? Usually on one of those. Not so hot today. Not, not so hot for me. Um, he is 3-2 right now, though, so he can still make some money. Me, I don't know that I can. Uh, I'm still playing for fun, though. I don't care how poorly I do. I'm running this all the way through. I have nothing else. Fun, experience. Got to see Brad Nelson. Hopefully I'll have an interview with him. Maybe there's a little annotation up here so you can click and shoot forward. Uh, if he actually gets in, if he interviews. Um, I was standing right next to him, saw him defeat elves. And that was just really kind of cool. He's, I asked if he would uh, be interviewed by me. He said, maybe later. He just got done with a long, uh, enduring, uh, not enduring, what's the word, exhausting match. And he was really in tournament mode, which I can respect. I feel for him. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to uh, give you an interview with Brad Nelson running Boss Infect, Simic Infect. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you after the next match. Bye-bye! Elves. Elves. I lost both games to relatively new tech. I don't think it's been in there for all that long. Rook Thar, I think the Unbowled is his title. Rook Thar got there. No. Once he's already done his job, pumps completely offline. 
In one game, he actually won after that with a crater hoof. He was willing to take the six off Green Sun Zenith. It just stalled the game. Rokthar stalled the game for long enough. <sighs> yeah. Oh, what a good card. I can see why decks switched to him. Uh, the one of Crater Hoof and the one of Rukthar. Well, <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? Better luck next time, maybe? Uh, winning w oh, that's right. Winning one time off of Crater Hoof afterwards, and then the other time, just beat down. That's it. Just straight up beat down. I have a bunch of 1-1s, one and you're having to block this big thing each turn. Well, I will see you in the next video. Hopefully with a win under my belt. I'm 2-4 right now. <laughs> really not. I do like that I haven't made any tremendous, strict, god-awful mistakes. Uh, nothing, you know, like fetching without any more targets in the deck, or, I don't know, miscounting, or something, something ridiculous. I haven't made anything super silly like that. Which I'm kind of proud of. I didn't get quite as much sleep as I would have liked. Never do for these events. Alright, I will try to get in touch and find out how the rest of our group is doing. I haven't been able to find them. Then again, I also got out kind of early. Elves is fast, and it was only two games. Alright, well, I will see you later. Well, everybody, I feel so dirty. I won. I 2 owed a uh, Tezzeret Affinity deck. And... I feel really, really dirty. Uh, turn, oh, so opening hand, no creatures, one pump spell, I think it was Invigorate, three Gitaxian probes. <laughs> well, I'm already playing for funsies anyway. I keep um, fetch to make the odds a little bit better that I'll find one, find a creature. Gitaxian probe, Glycid Elf. Yes! And, oh, uh, what was the next thing? Hmm. Uh, somewhere in there, it was another Gitaxian probe into a, a creature. Anyway, no, it was a, another Glistener Elf. That's what it was. That's right. Uh, I take a look at his hand again. Glistener Elf and Chalice of the Void. Chalice of the Void on one. So I had Invigorate. That's nice and fine. That'll get somewhere. Uh, but I didn't have any other... I mean, I tried Berserk. He knew it. Obviously, that's one. That won't fly. And the dirty part is that I kicked vines of vast wood. And he read the card, and he said, yeah, I'm dead. And then after he started picking up his cards, I said, actually, no, you, you aren't. Uh, but it is a trigger. You can miss it. And <laughs> it is... Oh, I feel so... I feel bad and good at the same time. Uh, now, now he knows. Now he knows. That won't happen again, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh... And then just game two was Chels of the Void on turn two. He had the mulligan to five though, so I do I do feel for the guy. I'm three four, and loving every second of it. I may do better than I don't know. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't watch me not win from here out. But I two owed him. I'm looking hopeful. I'm looking up. I will see you later, ladies and gentlemen. Bye bye. Where's the button? Um, my opponent did not show up in time. Uh, in time? Okay, so he did show up, but he did get a game loss. Poor guy was mad at himself. He thought that he heard that standings were up, not pairings. So unfortunately, yeah, he lost that. And then, turn one, Noble Hierarch. Turn two, Plague Stinger. Turn three, Might of Old Curse of Berserk. And the guy just couldn't do it. Sneak and show. It was a sneak and show that actually ran Crystal Vein. Uh, I saw that and I thought I would be running against Casco Balance. But no, that wasn't it. I did see an opponent, not an opponent, a uh, guy sitting next to me running High Tide, yes, but a High Tide that splashes red. I don't know what for. I'm going to do a deck tech with him after this. If everything works out and he still agrees to it, he's still in a good, good enough mood, we shall see. Well, I'll see you in a bit. And I'm here with... Jack Diggers. Jack Diggers, running... Look at this. Look at this high tide. Notice anything that's not... Is it tide? I don't know. I like it. Is it jokes? Do they just keep going? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good name for it. 
All right, so you, I, I see the usual. We've got high tide, ponder, brainstorm, turnabout, cunning wish, force. What is that? Yeah, that's, that is a counterflux for I when you really it. need to say no. When you really need to say it's, no. Uh, that came in actually just as a side benefit of red, but counterflux when your opponent plays show and tell, yeah. you say no. And they say, louder. I counter that. A little louder. Uh, so when you're playing show and tell, you can say no. And yeah. then they counter that, and they can try to counter it, and they'll just fail. That's right. So, counterflux is great. I believe you. Um, and then all yeah. the fetches, and then, whoa! Three volcanoes. Um, my, so my theory on adding red yeah, was yeah. no deck in the format plays both Wasteland and Emrakul or Progenitus. Hmm. So either I can fetch volcanoes and not care about Wasteland, okay. or I will have to go on blue, and I'll go into my sideboard, Ah, so you, and, you don't do... with Brain Freeze. Okay, that works. Makes sense. Now, you have a sideboard, a wishboard, or a little of each? A little of both. Okay, um, fair enough. But yeah, so my main win condition is Comet Storm. Comet Storm. Now, I'm, I'm having to read this. I'm sure everyone else is. There's an overlay on the screen right now. Okay. Multi-kicker is one, colorless, and choose target creature player, then choose another for each time it's kicked. X damage to each of them. Jeez. I just cast a bunch of fireballs, but really I'm just hitting you and hitting your creatures as a bonus. Oh yeah. Um, but basically counting to 20 is easier than counting to 60 for blue sun. So, <laughs> like that. Um, other things that red gives me is, is it charm? Mm -hmm. It's just a good utility spell that does all the three things that we Need. Fair enough. Um, and then I'm playing the other one of like Snapcaster, Wipe Away, Intuition. Okay. Those are all basically normal. Snapcaster's a little bit. People are debating about that, but otherwise, yeah. Now, is Comet Storm in your sideboard defined with Cunning Wish? Comet Storm is in my main. Okay. Um, I only play one Com uh, Comet Storm. And the reason that it is in the main is because of the spiciest card in Legacy. The spiciest card, the oh spiciest dear. Spiciest card. Glistener Elf? Well, no. Firemines Foresight. <laughs> what? <laughs> so look at that. Firemines Foresight. I've never lost when that's resolved. I believe it. Um, because it says tutor for three cards. I mean, Done. that's better than ancestral recall, right? So. Whew. Yeah. All right. Um, so what you end up doing is you have whenever you have twenty mana and mm -hmm. a cunning wish in hand. Yes. You cunning wish for Firemines Foresight. Yes. So you're down to seventeen. Firemines Foresight, you're down to 10. You get a High Tide, a Comet Storm, mm -hmm. and a second Cunning Wish. You cast <laughs> uh, High Tide, you go down to 9. Okay. You cast a uh, Cunning Wish, you go down to 6. Actually, yeah. Um, and then you cast. Where is it? It's in your, you go to your sideboard, you cast Turnabout, untapping all your lands, and Comet Storming them to death. Yep. That is guaranteed lethal. Um, so that's that's I'm that's the, the main okay. that's the main way, way to win. Um, wow. I, I yeah, spicy is the right word. Spicy is the right word. Now I have a few quick questions sure. here. Uh, I see the four times viral, the four merchant scroll, three candelabra. Is that a budget decision? Uh, no. I I I find that so since I only have to count to twenty, I don't need a fourth candle. Okay. Um. Like, I, I, I never need more than one, and I don't even need one to win, so three is the right number for me. And the wipe away is main board? Wipe away is main board because it answers almost everything, mm -hmm. and then I can switch into better answers after, uh, post board. Fair enough. Merchant scroll, wipe away, go off? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sounds, sounds fun. Sounds like legacy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. All right. Well, do you have a, a channel I can plug? Uh, uh, no. YouTube, Twitch. I would. Anything? I would. What, uh, sideboard. Okay. I yes. Like yes. Let's, let's get board. to that first. We've so seen a few. The first thing is yes. more answers. So white boy doesn't cut it always. So echoing truth. Always good. Snap. High tide after all. Rebuild. Rebuild. Okay. Uh, Infinity or capsize. Capsize. Okay, so you can just go infinite. infinite. Yeah. That's so right. if I can, then I'll do that. Um, then you have your permission suite. So I get to play a red blast because I've got red. All right. There's a surgical, I'm sure. No surgical. No surgical. Pact of negation. I okay. don't respect the graveyard at all. Okay, I believe uh, you. Pact of negation, obviously, and then a second counter flux for sneak and show. Okay. Um, I've got my uh, intuition, which helps me find spirals. Mm-hmm. Fair I need enough. To. And then the super spicy stuff. Uh, I was tired of losing to death and taxes, 
So I put two Pyroplasms in. Uh -huh. uh, it has also beats Elves and Delver, and it's been really, really good. Uh -huh. um, and then, this is new this week, uh, I was tired of losing to Miracles, so I put this in the, in the board. Vexing Shusher. Okay, I was looking for cards that we don't, or that we can't just like Cunning Wish into. Right. Vexing Shusher. You cannot, okay. you cannot Cunning Wish Vexing Shusher or Pyroplasm. That's right, that's right. Alright, so I'm looking at 7, 11, 13, and then we saw something else that's oh, sorry. Turnabout um, and Fireman's Foresight. Fireman's Foresight Force and the Turnabout that I showed you earlier. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is beautiful. Is it, it, is it it's tied? tied? I is mean, it tied? Yeah. I'm going to put that in the description yeah. or, or whatever. <laughs> Is it, yeah, is it tight? Is it high tide? I don't yeah. know. Is it <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's Comet Storm. I'll tell you, there you go. That it has a question mark. I think. That's yes. right. <laughs> yes, that's the important thing. Um, All is, right. Is it puns to keep coming? Well, I'm glad to have gotten the chance to see this, man. Best of luck to you going forward. Thanks. One more round. Right? That's right. One more round. T1 Glistener Elf out. All right, and just a quick shout out to Ian Boxian. Yep. Uh, he helped me build the deck, mostly by telling me that the cards I was trying to use were bad, <laughs> but he still, he still helped. To be fair, I did suggest Firemind's Foresight as a joke to you, and yes. then you didn't run with it. <laughs> that is true. Because you have an, you have awesome. an obsession with, with it's that It's the card. best. Like, it's the best. It's the best. Anyways, <laughs> go ahead and shout yourself out. Uh, yeah, so I'm uh, available at uh, twitch.tv backslash Boxian, B-O-X-I-A-N. B-O-X-I-A-N. Yep. All right. There's a nice little, like, there's text down here or an annotation or there's something on the screen oh, now. Perfect, yeah, perfect. Yeah. And then I'm also on Twitter at uh, B-O-X-I-A-N uh, zero because somebody else stole my name. Ah, oh, yep. I feel your pain, man. Yeah, it happens. I, fortunately, there's only one T1 Glistener Elf here. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, T1 Glistener Elf, I'm 5'4". On the one hand, my opponent actually did not show up for the last match. On the other hand, I found someone else whose opponent had not shown up to the last match. A Bug Delver player, and I was able to redeem myself. 2 owed him. Poor guy just did not. He drew removal, but I drew more creatures? That's not the most likely thing to happen. Uh, disfigure the T1 Glistener Elf, abrupt the T2 Blighted Agent, and not have anything for the Ink Moth that comes thereafter. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> And then just next turn win. Uh, so, overall, let's see. I don't think that Evan actually made the top eight. I, I was, I told you I would try to get uh, Brad Nelson on. I spoke to him. He and Todd Anderson, playing Simic Infect, Boss Infect, are in the top eight. And so he's like, no, 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 I'm in, I'm in tournament mode. So, you know, I, I got to say hi. There's that, there's that at least. But I did not actually get to go further than that. He, uh, I, I talked to him a little bit about my deck. I said I was running Bug. He said, oh, what for? Uh, running Thoughtseize. Todd actually suggested Thoughtseize. Yes, I'm running Thoughtseize. I'm running Abrupt Decay, Surgical Extraction, and Snuff Out. Those are what I use the Black Man. In addition to the Plague Stinger in the main board. But when I said that I don't have counter spells, sorry about the quick turn. When I said I don't have counter spells, He's like, whoa, 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 I think that's a really bad idea. And he could very well be right. I I may have to switch out. I, I can't take out T1 Glistener Elf, obviously. But Plague Stinger, you may have to take the cut. Uh, as much as I like the black mana and what it's done for me, being able to attack people's hands especially uh, has been really exciting this time around. Thought sees so much over days, so much. I don't, I don't know. It's something I'll, I'll give a good bit more thought to. The next time that I do a, an open like this, the contenders are Bug Infect, Boss Infect, yes, that's what I'm going to call it now, and uh, I have an Enlightened Tutor deck I've been working on. The uh, Death and Taxes, where you can tutor for Spirit of the Labyrinth, Aegis of the Gods, Aether's One Canonist, Spell Sky, Painter Servant, Grindstone, Rest in Peace, Helm of Obedience, uh, you do have Stoneforge in there, but no, no tutoring. You do have Thalia, uh, Aether Vial's in there. I'm sure that I'm missing stuff. I'm positive. But... And, uh, if I run that, I'll have to have honed it a lot more. It does well enough against combo, uh, okay against control. Aggro it does not like. 
all the one toughness creatures. It just, it does not at all. And frankly, the way that I have it built right now, I don't have any one drop creatures. It needs, I think that it needs one. All right, well, I will see you later, ladies and gentlemen. Take care, T1 Glistener Elf out. This time, probably for good. Well, for the day. See ya. All right, I am being driven back. The lovely Miss T1 Glistener Elf over here. After a 5-4, uh, uh, this day didn't feel quite as long. Maybe I'm getting used to these nine round events, jeez. Uh, one more quick update actually for you. Uh, since this is the 200 subspecial, the 100 subspecial uh, had an announcement about a card game on which I'm working. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have been doing some work on it. It is still a thing, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about that. Um, how much should I tell you about it right now? Not feeling well? She just kicked my bladder. Oh, she just kicked her bladder. That's adorable and that sounds painful. Oh dear. Well, uh, actually, maybe I could just make another video all about that. I think I'll just do that for you. If I've made that video, there's an annotation above, and you can go click on that, take you straight over to it. Well, T1 Listener is done for the day.